We've produced an estimate of the total abundance for the East Coast population and an estimate of the adult abundance for the West Coast population. We've used some novel genetic technologies which has allowed us to capitalise on decades of um, tagging and behavioural work undertaken by CSRO and the states. Uh, we know that there are two white shark populations in Australia, one on the east coast of Australia and one which covers the south and west coasts. In order to estimate white shark populations, we need to understand where they live, where they go, we need to understand their survival rates, um, when they breed, when they mature and how many pups they produce. Sharks are really hard to count because unlike trees, we can't see them, they live underwater and they move. So fortunately on the east coast we've been able to locate a nursery area where we're able to count sharks quite rapidly. Whereas on the west coast we have yet to find a nursery area where large amounts of sharks aggregate. With, with some of the major recent advances in genetics we're able to use those technologies and build on all the decades of data of biological sampling including genetic samples which we're now able to turn into a population estimate. Adult sharks are very hard to find on the East Coast, but working with New South Wales Department of Fisheries, we've located a nursery population of white sharks, which we're able to sample the juveniles. By looking at the unique genetic code in each white shark, we're able to understand how they are related and how many share a parent, and therefore get an idea of the size of the population. If we find that many juvenile sharks share a parent, that means that the adult population is quite small whereas there's very few sharks share a parent, that implies there's a large population of adult white sharks. By looking at the family trees, we're able to find out how often the females breed, how often the males breed, and how many survive from year to year. Information from tagging and tracking on the East Coast enabled us to estimate how many juvenile sharks survive from year to year. We used the genetic information to estimate the adult population and then the tagging and tracking information to estimate juvenile survival, which then gives an estimate of the entire population. Um, we've estimated the size of the adult population on the west coast, but because we don't have an estimate of juvenile survival, we're unable to estimate the total population size. The size of the adult white shark populations on the east and west coast of Australia appear to have been stable since they were protected in the late 1990s. While adult numbers have been stable over the last decade, we do not know whether the total population size has been increasing or decreasing for the west or the east populations. Based on the current level of sampling by the states and other groups, it will take five years to estimate the trend in population size for the east coast and ten years to estimate that trend for the west coast.